Stakeholders have decried the American-style presidential democracy, which the country adopted during its return to democracy after 13 years of military rule, a complete departure from the parliamentary system of government inherited from the British in independence or at independence on October 1, 1960. They further argue that the presidential system of government had done more harm than good for Nigerian for Nigeria, particularly in the last 25 years of the country's democratic journey as a call for a return to the parliamentary system. These observations were made at the National Discourse on the Homegrown Parliamentary System of Government, organized by the Homegrown Parliamentary System Support Group, PSSG, in uh, Abuja on Monday. In their remarks, they stated that the last 25 years of the presidential democracy had not actually given Nigerian citizens what they were expecting from successive governments. Because I see this process as reinventing our politics. Because our politics today is actually sick, it's decaying, it's not delivering. And citizens are agitated that it's not giving them what they are looking for. So it's in our own enlightened self interest to reinvent it. So it meets the expectations and the aspirations of our own society. And three things we need to look at first is a new political philosophy. We have to start discussing what is the objective of politics. Is it just personal benefit and self-aggrandizement? Or are there more important goals that politics should play? America claims democracy. China claims democracy. Most countries claim democracy. So democracy must have multiple meanings, flexible meanings, and so on. So it's right for us here to ask what kind of democracy you want to have. And uh, it's also right to insist that we can have a homegrown democracy. And our children who are versed at uh, a lot of things should be able to do so. The parliament was also not spared for failing in its responsibility to provide the much needed checks and balances. Removing a council on under our present law is almost an impossibility. And so the councillor knows, I'm not talking about members of National Assembly, I'm not talking about the executive, the councillor at the world level, because you have to get majority signatures of voters, and that will be confirmed by INEC. How do you do that? When even the voters register has more than 50% ghost names. So where are you going to get the 50% genuine persons and their signatures confirmed? So this system has inherent loopholes that will allow those who are administering it to uh, go scot-free. And we need to tighten it. In his remark, the spokesman of the group, Honorable Abdul Samad Dasuki, says the call for a shift to the parliamentary system is justified. We can't all melt into one tribe. We can't all melt into one language. We can't melt all in one faith just because we want to be called Nigerians. No. So the important thing is for people from these different backgrounds and different antecedents and so on is to continue to dialogue and understand their differences. Once they can understand their differences, they should be able to work together towards building a country. 83 members of the 10th Assembly in the, in the House of Representatives are so far pushing for this shift and they strongly believe that a shift to the parliamentary system remains the only solution to salvaging the nation's democracy. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.